there, Brian. The tropics definitely waking up. We are three weeks away to the date from the peak of hurricane season. It definitely looks like that out here in the Atlantic. We've got two tropical storms, two invests, as well as a tropical depression in the Atlantic. And what we are focused on is just one of those invests right now. Invest 91L. It finally got that label today. And what that means is now the National Hurricane Center is able to run those spaghetti models that we know and love so much. Also today, it got an update in its chance of development. It has gone way up to 70% for both the next seven days as well as the next 24 hours. So it's definitely uh, expected to develop here over the next couple of days. And here's a zoomed in look, a, a more zoomed in look. You can see it's got this kind of wave structure to it. That's where it gets that name from. So you've got the winds going around on the top, but one key component that this thing is missing, it does not have these winds coming around on the bottom. So it can't really be called a tropical depression or anything of that sort just yet. It's got to check off all of these things here on our tropical cyclone checklist. So it's missing that closed surface circulation as well as just a little bit more organization with its thunderstorms. Now, even with that, it is possible that we start to see tropical storm watches or even tropical storm warnings being issued here for the coastal bend. That is because we could be experiencing some of these lower tropical storm force winds within the next 48 hours. Now, the watch does not guarantee that these conditions will occur, but we just wanted to put that on y'all's radar for lack of a better phrase that it is possible that we do start seeing any tropical storm watches or warnings being uh, issued here in the next day or two. That's because even though there's a little bit of wind shear, maybe even a little bit of Saharan dust in the Gulf, there is a lot of very warm water for this thing to track across. And as it comes into our portion of Texas and the South Texas coastline, it's going to send some pretty big waves into our beaches as well. So if you are heading out, make sure that you are taking a extra care with the waves because not only are they going to be tall, the wave periods are going to be quite a bit longer for some time. That's going to increase our rip current risk. So here's a little overview of what we'll go over later in our weather, the timing of this thing, how much rain we're expecting, what the winds are going to look like, and the impacts right along our coastline. Brian.